So this time I really promised I wasn't going to do this. So, okay. Uh, so everyone hates arguing about definitions. It's just pedantic and boring, and I'm kind of embarrassed myself that I'm even, like, weighing in on this. It's just that um, I was kind of okay with things as they stood until I came about a kind of problem. So let's just review things very briefly. I think really the conversation started with bionic dance, although it's not, I think, in a definition that's exclusive to her. And so some people I really respect have come out and, and sort of carried this definition. The definition is as follows, that atheism is lack of belief in God. Now, really, the biggest response to this whole thing has been that really anything that lacks a belief at all would actually qualify as an atheist under that definition. So babies and rocks and bricks and trees and maple syrup and bacon and I'm just hungry. And actually to tell the truth, I was kind of okay with that as, uh, as a consequence. That sometimes, hey, definitions work in weird ways. For instance, um, the term bachelor just applies to any unmarried man. Um, and under that sort of definition, uh, the Pope is a bachelor, even though we really don't think of him as being a bachelor. And he doesn't really qualify for like the sort of, sort of mold we have, the sort of vision we have of what a a bachelor would be, but nevertheless, the the definition we have as being bachelor means unmarried man is still kind of a good one and applies most of the time, even though we have some contradictory results. In the same sort of vein, I was okay with rocks and trees and bricks being atheists as well as babies being atheists. Again, sometimes these definitions don't work out okay, and that was just about all of the intellectual effort I was willing to put into this problem. But then I came to another sort of realization, which is that fundamentally the term then becomes one about psychology. What I mean by that can be best explained by a point that, uh, or an analogy that little Kropotkin made. She likened... Um, atheism in this case to virginity. So uh, if virginity just means that you lack sexual experience, then like all ty types of things would be virgins, including babies, hopefully. Um, I shouldn't say that. Trees, rocks, anything, anything that lacks that kind of experience, books, um, wallpaper, whatever. But then comes a bit of a problem. If we're looking at atheism and virginity in the same way, fundamentally atheism becomes a state of affairs about our minds and about psychology. Um, and in that case, they're more like adjectives and nouns. They're, they're descriptors of something. So atheism can only apply to said nouns. So, um, for instance, our, this cup can be a virgin and an atheist. That's okay. That fits both criteria. But one thing about psychological states is, in philosophical jargon, they're not truth-preserving. They can't actually be true. So, things can be true. It can be true, for instance, that a brick is an atheist, or a brick is a virgin. But it's kind of weird to say that virginity is true. Just in the same way it's like we can use the word sad or happy person, happy man, happy woman, but we can't say, ask the question, is happiness true? Like fundamentally the language actually doesn't work that way. It's not even actually a candidate for being true because the sentence doesn't make sense. It's ungrammatical. So if we're going to say that atheism is lack of belief, then <clears throat> I was okay with rocks being atheists, but I was, I'm, not, I'm less okay, actually, with 
the idea that atheism can't possibly even be true. Like, not that it's wrong. It's not even a candidate for being wrong, because, again, the sentence doesn't make sense in that grammatical form. Is virginity true? Is not being a member of the Union true? Like, I can say, Coughlin is not a member of the Union, or Thunderfoot is not a member of the Union, but I can't say, is non-membership true? Even though everyone's been saying that this, this sort of argument is really pedantic and, and weird and kind of a waste of time, this problem is actually kind of serious, because it means that we all believe in something that isn't false and can't be true. So we can no longer have debates around whether atheism is true, because that's no longer, like, grammatically even a sentence. And to me, that is kind of important. I like ideas that at least could be true, I, I might be wrong about certain things, but I like at least the idea that the potential exists that I might be right. And Bionic Dance has kind of wrecked that for me. What's even worse here would be that a Christianity is a set of truth claims. Like, we know what it would take for it to be true, because it's not just the state of, like, it would be a redundant definition to say, uh, Christianity is a belief in Christianity. Um, it's a belief that uh, Jesus is the Messiah, basically. I don't know. Islam, as well, it, it, at least it's an idea that could be true. Like, it makes grammatical sense to say Islam is true, or Islamic religion is true. Um, that, again, is at least a sentence. What's really a problem for me now is that we could find ourselves in the situation, potentially, where the sentence, Christianity is true, is considered false, and Islam is true is considered a false statement. So, and we could do that for every one of the religions, and every one of them could be false. And yet we'd still be in a position where atheism isn't true because it just couldn't possibly fit into a sentence where atheism is true. So all of the religions could be wrong, and yet atheism is still not true. And, hmm, that is actually kind of a problem, because that's what I thought we all were thinking here. And... How I missed that for even a few days, and how it's not come up as, as an actual problem, um, is now kind of baffling for me. I, nevertheless, there seems to be a bit of an issue here. Um, not to keep this thing going, but... I, that's a worrying problem. Sorry. Sorry to keep this going. But I like having ideas that could potentially be true, again, like, potentially, even have, like, carries the possibility of being true. And the idea that every religion could be wrong, and yet atheism is still not true, is just redonkulous. That's so fucking idiotic that I can't even really express it all. So, that's the issue. Um... Sorry.